You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling, it's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. And your friends don't even know what you got. They just hang with you because you earn a lot. You should lose them all and start hanging with me. Cause I'm the only one who can see. I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes. No, I don't need your pretty smile, your pretty smile. No, I just want your perfect mind, your perfect mind. Laguna Beach and we are down on the beach already. Our hotel is just steps from this beach which is awesome and yeah the weather is great. We've had terrible weather in San Diego um, and it's just changed today. The sun has come out, we've blue skies. It's like later on in the evening, it's like half five. So I think what we're gonna do is just find somewhere to chill and maybe watch the sunset. The things you're saying, it blows my mind. It's hard to keep up You got that beauty And all the brain Yeah, what you got is deeper within uh, We just had some fish tacos in Wahoo Wahoo? Wahoo? Um, which was really nice and it was a good view from there as well um, Actually no, that's a lie so, <laughs> um, so the fish tacos were very average um, But the view was good from where we had the tacos And we had some margaritas as well now we're walking along uh, the main street in Laguna and we're gonna um, try and pop into one of the rooftop bars and make a reservation for tomorrow so that we can sit in the rooftop bar and then watch the sunset, which would be really cool. And then, what are we doing? Going to see sunset now. <laughs> on the yeah, well then, then we're gonna try and watch the sunset tonight because the sky is quite clear. Uh, we also booked a really nice sushi place for Monday. So we've got our evening sorted, I think. And but yeah, it's really nice here. Like we're really enjoying it so far. We like our hotel, our hotel is cool. And we're so close to the beach. Like the beach is literally across the road. It's insane. And um, the sunset and the sky look amazing right now. So I'm hoping we get to see a nice sunset this evening. We also um, used to watch the reality TV show, Laguna Beach, uh, which is where we know this place from. And we just walked by this surf shop that Steven used to work at. So that was pretty cool. I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes. It is our first full day here in Laguna. We're just getting ready to head out. We're gonna go park down by the beach and then um, maybe have a bit of a wander around because it's still a little bit cloudy right now, but it's supposed to clear up a bit later. So I think we're gonna go down, park by the beach, wander around for a bit and then chill at the beach for the afternoon. Um, it'll be nice to get some sunshine because uh, the weather has only sort of started to pick up for us now on this trip. So yeah, we feel like we've been lacking in that California sunshine since we've got here. And uh, we just had breakfast here in the hotel. Um, it was pretty basic, like it was bagels, toast, um, they had a little bit of bacon and uh, some scrambled eggs. Uh, but I'll show you the breakfast tomorrow when we go for it so you can see it a bit better and see what we had. But, um, oh, I forgot about my coffee. I did also get a takeaway coffee from breakfast, which is probably gone cold now. <sighs> Let's see, oh, this is, this is weird lighting. This makes me look terribly ill. Yeah, it's a bit cold. Bah. <coughs> this though, I love, coffee mate. French vanilla. This I'm obsessed with. It's so good. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have coffee mate in the UK, but I want some. So I'm gonna actually, I might get some of the uh, powdered coffee mate to take home because that's really handy. And it doesn't actually have milk in it, even though it kind of acts as a milk substitute in coffee. And I'm not a big milk fan, but I quite liked the coffee mate. So I'm gonna get some.
we have just come out of our hotel it's a bit later on in the day we had a uh, quite a chilled beach day today our hotel is just behind me here hotel Bri brisas laguna brisas laguna brisas um, and I've got some orange water from reception, which is really cool. They um, have like some iced water in reception. We're gonna walk literally across the road. Um, so like I say, the hotel is just behind us here. We're gonna cross the main street in front of us, which is Pacific Highway, right? Yeah, it's the Pacific Highway, I think. Um, and then there is, we, there is a ramp down to the beach right across from where we are right now. But we're gonna go back a street and um, it looks like there's a little pier that we can stand on and watch the sunset. So we did watch the sunset last night as well, but it was so beautiful that we thought we'd come back tonight. Uh, we've no real plans this evening other than to go to... Raising Canes. Raising Canes. So Rachel has been talking about Raising Canes and saying that we have to go. Um, I've never been, Rachel's never been. And apparently they do chicken. That's about all I know. Um, I'm about to tell Rachel something that's probably gonna make her mad. We're sneaking my lips. Oh, you look. <laughs> I meant to say to you before we left and then I forgot. Bring it. No, no, no. Oh we have we have this thing basically. <laughs> so it's not horrible. horrible <laughs> I meant to say it to you. I meant to ask you if you had anything. Did you bring you probably brought, you didn't bring a fence here, Anne, did you? I have nothing. I have oh. We basically have this thing, right? When we're going out anywhere. Um oh, I feel like we're interrupting their little romantic yeah. moment down here. <laughs> One we can like walk somewhere else anyway uh, basically like we get ready to the same extent so like if we're getting ready i'll be like rachel are you doing eyeshadow and she'll be like yes or no and if she is doing it i'll do it and if she's not i won't but we always check in with each other to make sure we've got ready the same length but i forgot to say to rachel that i had put some lip gloss on and now rachel doesn't have lip gloss on and i do and she's not happy about it not about that life. <laughs> that's cool Oh yeah, there's another bench here. That's so cool. It's like right, it's like we're in the water. Yeah. That's awesome. So as you'll have seen, we just watched the sunset. We're now gonna hop in the car and drive to Raising Canes to get some chicken. Rachel's so excited. Um, today is actually also uh, the American Mother's Day. Uh, we had our Mother's Day back in March, but um, yeah, it's Mother's Day here today. So a lot of the restaurants were booked out and um, we have actually booked a restaurant though for tomorrow night, so that'll be cool. But we don't mind because we wanted to try Raising Canes anyway. So we've just driven to Raisin Cane's. Rachel is very excited. Yep. <laughs> um, so where, what's the name of this place again? Raisin this area? Cane's. No, the area. Aliso. Uh, Aliso Town Centre apparently is where we are. There's lots of stuff here. Like again, it has a lot of our favorite stuff. We found a spot in San Diego that had a lot of our favorite stuff. So this yeah. is place. It has Chili's, Target. Well, Target's up the road, isn't it? But there's- Chipotle. Chipotle um, and Raisin Cane's. So we're gonna go to Raisin Cane's. I don't think there's an In-N-Out Burger. I didn't see that on the list, but um, yeah, it's our first time here, so let's see what it's like. Toast, 
with the lid of myself. <laughs> What's in that sauce? There's definitely so there's definitely Wor Worcester sauce. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm, there's definitely like Worcester sauce. It's really good. <laughs> Chips are good. Try cold sauce. Cold sauce, nice, real fresh chicken. Ooh, so hot. Ooh, so hot. Nice and crispy batter as well. So good. That sauce is everything. That sauce is what makes it. Do you like the chicken? Good. So we really enjoyed our Raising Canes and now we're at Target. Uh, we're gonna have a little look around. Um, I think what we wanna get, we wanna get one of those suitcase weighers, like the little cheap ones that you can get so we can make sure our cases are all right. And then we also wanna get more of these like chocolate pretzel things we had last night. And I think they're called flips and also some popcorn. We are just back in the room now. Um, we had a successful Target trip because we got the luggage, um, sk luggage scales portable luggage scales that we wanted so we can measure our bags. Um, do we have it handy? Where is it? I'm like walking sideways because Rachel's getting changed back there. <laughs> That's why I'm doing such a weird walk. Um, oh, more importantly though, we got some more flips. These bad boys, if you haven't tried them, are amazing. But warning, they are so addictive. We went through a whole bag of them last night. And they have them at home. I've had them in the UK. Um, and same thing happened in the UK. We went through them like so fast. But they're so good. So tasty. Oh, and it's just because it's like salty and chocolate. It's the perfect combination. So this is a portable luggage scale. So we can check all of our luggage. Because I have an extra bag going home. And I'm flying premium economy with BA. So I get a second checked bag. But my family all get one bag. So what we're going to make sure is that their luggage is all okay. And then I'll take some of their stuff if it's not. Um, so yeah, we want to do all that before we get to the airport and we're also flying separately So we need to know before we get to the airport if the bags are okay So hence why that would be very handy and also like nobody likes being that person at the airport Like panicking weighing your scale weighing your suitcase then realizing it's over and having to pull stuff out that stresses me out and LAX was stressful enough without any more stress um, you, if you didn't see the start of this vlog it was quite stressful coming through LAX, but I'm hoping the return trip won't be as bad. But I do know like obviously with traffic and then having to go through security, all that sort of stuff, it's probably still gonna be a bit insane. So anything we can do to make that a little bit smoother and easier and quicker, that's what we'll do. And um, I also got two boxes of this Pop Secret movie theater butter popcorn. And that is because it is the same brand of popcorn that they have in the Disney parks. And I'm obsessed with that popcorn. And um, I got, <laughs> That is a lot though, because there's 12 bags in there and I got, am I zoomed in? I am zoomed in. I was wondering why it was so hard to get my whole head in there. So the, each box has 12 bags and we already got one earlier in the trip and we still have about 10 bags left of that. So in total right now, I have 34 bags of popcorn. <laughs> but Rachel's gonna take some. Did you just, was that you checking my maths? You, <laughs> <laughs> Rachel just stopped and went, <laughs> it is a lot of popcorn. Um, but Rachel's gonna take some. I have some for myself, and I've also got some for my friend Lisa, um, who you'll have seen on this channel before, Lisa Priest. Uh, I promised her I would bring her home some maybe popcorn, so I know she loves it as well. So yeah, it's not all for me, but about 12 bags are, so. <laughs> Good morning, we are up, and we are about to head to Newport Beach. Uh, the weather is a bit dull this morning but apparently it's supposed to clear up a little bit later but we're going to go explore Newport Beach and um, just like Laguna Beach we've also seen Newport Beach on a reality TV series and it looks amazing and we want to go check it out but we've also I've also seen like real life pictures of it that look amazing um but yeah we're just going to go explore we don't really have a set plan or anything we're just going to show up and hope we can get parking and explore that's the plan basically um and then later on we are going to head to um a place called the deck Yep. The deck, which uh, looks like it's quite nice. We can sit out there and we'll be right by the seaside, watch the sun um, set, and we can maybe have some drinks. And then we've got a reservation this evening for sushi. So a very nice day planned for our last day at Laguna. And then tomorrow we're heading to Anaheim. So seven degrees, so we're good. Yeah, so yeah, so the weather's like not that great today. We're by the beach and then tomorrow when we're in the parks, walking around, it's like 27 degrees and sunny from like 5.30 in the morning, so. That's great.
we have just arrived at Newport Beach. I think we're down by what well, the harbour, I guess, uh, and by the pier. There's a big pier just along here, and then the beach is like here. And we're gonna just have a little wander around and walk along the shops. Rachel's already spied a donut shop, so we'll definitely be seeing what they have to offer. <laughs> I also I had a quick check online and there's a place called Dory's Deli that looks really good for like sandwiches and stuff um, and also that place that we went to yesterday Ruby's Diner they have one of those here um, but it's actually rated quite highly here as well we did enjoy it yesterday so that's a good recommendation if you go to either Laguna or Newport Beaches to pop into that Ruby's Diner especially if you like that kind of like classic American diner look and also that kind of food as well We just finished up having lunch in Dory's Deli and we rechecked the weather and now the sun is apparently not coming out <laughs> while we're here. So we're gonna um, drive back to Laguna and yeah, we're gonna reassess our plans for this evening because we've actually got a very, very early start tomorrow and we had booked the sushi place for eight and we think it might be a little late. So we're gonna have a little think about what we're gonna do while, uh, while we're back at the room. Yeah, so that is it, that is our plan. Um, there's uh, easy parking around here. It seems like this whole area, like around the, uh, near the pier, like we're in a little parking lot and there's the whole street park and the whole way down is all just under one system, which is that you can either pay at the machine where you just put your car reg number in or you can use the app, which is like mobile parking, I think it's called. Um, and you just put your reg number in and the amount of time you want to stay for. We paid about $4.60 for two hours. So it is a bit expensive but it was quite easy as well. We are back in Laguna and we're just, what are you doing? I just wanted to be in. I just wanted to be in. We're back in Laguna and we're in our room. We're about to head out uh, to, can't remember the name of the place. Yeah. No. Uh, rooftop Lounge. Rooftop Lounge, um, which is a bit more casual than the deck, which is kind of what we want right now. I'm not sure if I'm feeling these sunglasses, they're like a pound from Primark, but I don't know. They kind of go, there's some pink in my top, kind of go. We'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna head there now. Uh, like I say, it's a little bit more chilled and we kind of fancy something a bit more chilled. We're not gonna make it to the sushi place tonight because we are quite tired and we've got a super early start tomorrow. So we need to be leaving here tomorrow at 6 a.m. Which is super early. And so we don't wanna be out for dinner at eight and not getting back to like half nine, 10. Cause we also need to be packed and organized so we can just shoot up, shoot up get up and shoot off in the morning. Right, so we're gonna leave the room and we're gonna head to Rooftop Lounge. Rooftop Lounge? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. We'll find out when we get there. hour these mojitos are all half price and I think any of the single serve alcohol cocktails are also half price. So I went for strawberry and Rachel went for mango. Is it good? What? Is it not good? You don't like it? Do you want to, you want to try the strawberry? What don't you like about it? Do you like mango? You think so? Okay. Did you mix it? Did you want to try strawberry? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a fructose, so we had to remove it, so... What do you think? Uh, no, it's in there, it's in there, but it's not... I'll make you drinks like that at the I like that lot. We like it. Yep. Terry Fig, St. Pat Fig. We are back in the room now. Um, I can't remember where we left off. I did show you the Taco Bell. I don't know if we said we were going to Taco Bell, but we went to Taco <laughs> Bell. Because <laughs> we, oh, we went to that rooftop place. I think that's the last time yeah. we checked in. And there was um, like a happy hour thing where they had mojitos. And then this is what confused us, right? Because Americans call like, what alcohol with a mix, 
with a mixer. Like, say like vodka, vodka coke. coke. They call that a cocktail. And the waitress was like, oh, you can get like the single, but it's like a single serve, like, a, yeah, cocktail. And so I like thought that meant a cocktail with one alcoholic beverage in it. But no, that meant like a vodka and coke. And that was very confusing because we don't call them cocktails. But anyway, we got past drink. that. We got past that. We had, <laughs> it is called a drink. We had the, <laughs> we had the, oh, you just call it like a vodka coke. Or like drink. Bacardi and Coke. It's not a cocktail. It's not a cocktail. Cocktails have like lots of things in them. Hence, that's just like a, what would you call it? Like a spirit with a mixer, basically. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that confused us. But then, so yeah, we had the mojitos, which are half price, and then we had some beers. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on from there and went to Taco Bell. And then we went to Rob's to get more flips i think i showed the flips no we, we do have another packet somewhere but yeah. the flips are basically like little um mini pretzel crisps covered in chocolate and they're so addictive how many bags have we eaten now three and they're large like they're like share bags big share bags at least we shared them yeah at least we did share them so we've had like a bag and a half each yeah. <laughs> but like that's been since we've been in the guna <laughs> It's like we've had a whole bag every night. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Um, but so what I thought I would do is just close out the Laguna vlog here because we are moving tomorrow to Disneyland. We're staying in hotel. Hotel. Do you know what I'm thinking of? I think that was there. Welcome to the Hotel California. <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking of um, Hotel Del Coronado. Oh, we're not going there. No, that's not where we're going. <laughs> we're going to the Grand Californian Hotel, which is. <laughs> looks amazing we were in the hotel just in the lobby when we met luke and rich but yeah we're excited to go there and explore that hotel and so yeah before we do all that we'll talk about that more in tomorrow's vlog which will be well tomorrow for me it'll be like next week for you but anyway <laughs> time traveling <laughs> it really <did. laughs> it'll be in the next vlog <laughs> which is the Disneyland vlog. But what I wanted to do today, going back in the circle, it's like, you know when the comedians tell jokes when they go off on these big tangents? I feel like I do that a lot. Like, not that I'm as funny as a comedian, but like, no, I go off not. on tangents. <laughs> and then, but I eventually come back to what I was talking about. It just sometimes. takes a while. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget altogether. But anyway, as I was saying, I thought I would finish out the Laguna vlog here because, um, yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> the next vlog is gonna be different <laughs> time we're finished with Laguna. <laughs> I thought what I would do is just have a little, we'd give her like our opinions on staying here. Cause I guess I haven't seen, like, I don't think I've seen any Laguna vlogs. I didn't look for any. And yeah, I didn't really look for any, that's true. But I have watched like some vlogs where people come to California. Yeah. I don't think I've seen people in Laguna. So yeah, I thought I would just give our thoughts. Now, the main reason that we knew to look like for Laguna was because of the TV show. The reality TV show. But um, it always, this place looks amazing on that show anyway. But then, the other reason was that we were looking for places in between San Diego and Anaheim because we went from LA to Anaheim then to San Diego. So we went straight from Anaheim to San Diego initially and then on the way back to Anaheim, which is obviously tomorrow, we just wanted to stop off somewhere and we wanted a beach resort. Mm. So we looked at Laguna Beach, we looked at Newport Beach and I think I looked at Huntington Beach as well. Yeah. They were the three that I was looking for accommodation at and then I found this hotel which is the Laguna Recess. Recess? Yeah. Recess. I was originally looking at Airbnbs, but like Airbnbs can get expensive because for every time you stay, like you're paying the cleaning fee, which can yeah. be like $70. And then like service charge, all this sort of stuff. So initially when you look like you think the price is good and then when you see all the other fees, I find the Airbnbs are better if you're staying longer because some of those charges are like one-off charges. And then, so yeah, so I was looking at um, like Airbnbs in Newport Beach that looked really nice, but I thought it might be nice just to have a hotel. And sometimes it's handy to have a hotel because it's much easier like checking in, checking out, mm. it's a lot quicker. And when you're moving a lot, it can be a lot of hassle moving from a lot of Airbnbs. So the one, the Airbnb in San Diego was amazing, but I think you want to be staying in an Airbnb like at least sort of four nights. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not really worth the hassle or the cost. <laughs> Um, uh, three or four nights, it just depends. We did look at, this was three nights, so we did look at, at the Airbnb option, but this hotel just came out cheaper and then had really good reviews. It included breakfast and they also included things like 
um, parking was included in the service charge that we paid and it also um, they gave like supplies for the beach like beach chairs and towels and stuff so it just made it a lot more convenient for us and it's in a great location it's literally steps from the beach like we can be at the mm. beach in less than two minutes <laughs> we're like across the road and down a hill and we're on the beach um, and it has like a rooftop deck so it just it just looks really good but Laguna itself we liked mm -hmm. It's very chilled. Oh, we loved watching the surfers, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. That was so much fun. The surfers were awesome. Yeah. And um, the waves are like so big. Yeah. It was just nice to just sit and watch the waves and stuff. Um, and the sunsets. Yeah. Because we like, so nice. we had so many plans in San Diego, but we just never got time to do half the stuff we wanted to do because it ended up being that like LA was busy, Anaheim was busy. And when we got to San Diego, we just wound down, didn't mm. we? And we had some key things planned that we actually did, like baseball game, zoo, SeaWorld, etc. Well, the SeaWorld was kind of unplanned, but anyway. We didn't, we really enjoyed the downtime. And one of the things that we had wanted to do was to go to one of the Sunset locations. Like, is it Sunset Pier or something? Sunset Cliffs. Sunset Cliffs. And we didn't get to do that. So we really wanted to see a sunset, which... It wasn't like nice enough in San Diego anyway. Oh yeah, the weather wasn't clear. So there was uh, several reasons why it didn't happen. But here we got two perfect nights. One of them was better. Yeah. The first night was even clearer, but they were both beautiful. Like if I'd only seen the second one, yeah. I wouldn't have known that I was missing out on a clearer night. <laughs> Cause they were, it was so nice. And there's so many locations, literally like every, yeah. every street crossing nearly, you can go down and there's somewhere to watch the sunset, like just a random little pier. But you'll f a few of them are like, ha are bit better equipped like they have benches and stuff but we actually found that the areas that had benches got a little bit busier I and mean, it's not that busy there'd be no. like 10 people there but when we went to somewhere that was more just like steps down to the beach wasn't it there was only like us and two other people and that was perfect you'd come yep. back yeah i'd definitely come back and it is a nice little stop off between yeah. either LA and San Diego or Anaheim and San Diego now like it's not like you really need a stop off because it's not the longest drive but we don't in ireland we were having this conversation with somebody the other day in ireland like we don't have long drives like it <laughs> takes what like three or four hours to go yeah. across the whole country um and we're sort of situated halfway down so we don't tend to have very long drives anywhere in ireland so for me like a two-hour drive is a long drive <laughs> so it's nice to break it up i think from la to san diego without traffic is probably like two and a half hours yeah maybe three hours with traffic it could be like double that so um we were we didn't we wanted to make sure that we had like some little rest stops. Uh, so we will leave out here because we are up very, very early tomorrow. Mm. I don't even want to think about it right now, but we are going to be leaving here at 6 a.m. because we're going to go check into the Grand Californian and we're actually meeting one of our friends as well in the morning. And the plan is to meet at 7 a.m. at Starbucks in uh, downtown Disney. That's the right name, isn't it? Downtown Disney. Mm -hmm. It's been so hard. Like I've been calling it Disney Springs, Disney Town, it's downtown Disney. Um, yeah, so we will leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Laguna Beach or about our brief visit to Newport Beach, then just leave them in the comments below. And um, if you actually, I'd love to know for um, the next time we come here, because there is gonna be a next time, um, for staying along the side of the coast that we are, so the west coast, what <laughs> what beach areas would you recommend staying in because we would probably we would definitely try somewhere else I think um now I've been thinking like somewhere between San Diego and may and just past LA actually as well because there's yeah. some nice ones just past LA um so yeah if you have any recommendations do leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time bye so get dressed, pack your bags, feel the holiday mood You won't believe what we're about to do Cause we're off, California I long to wrap my arms around you Wanna love and renew you Do all the